Well, a once-in-a-generation opportunity or too good to be true. A plan to significantly cut MLGW utility bills, save the company money, and allow MLGW to improve equipment without raising rates. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders joins us live at MLGW substation in Raleigh to break it all down for us. Brad? Good evening, Rudy. Well, this plan would dramatically change MLGW's decades-old relationship in buying power for the Tennessee Valley Authority. Today, after the developer made that presentation to the Memphis City Council, MLGW leaders cautioned they're doing their own study of possible risks and rewards. There's a better way to improve the infrastructure and help the citizens of Memphis rather than just raising utility rates. Bill McCollum is CEO of Nuclear Development, leading a push to finish the Belafonte nuclear plant in Hollywood, Alabama, and provide MLGW potentially with a much cheaper energy option starting in 2024. In this study by a premier firm in the industry concluded that Memphis could save $487 million a year. McCollum wants MLGW to sign a new non-binding letter in the next month to keep the deal alive and a federal loan in place. There are a number um, of concerns that we have. We do take on additional risks that Mr. McCollum did not mention. Young said he's reviewing several energy options in the future as the utility figures out how to pay for upgrading its system while keeping utility bills low. Our concern again is around sustainability. We have questions around the savings and the way they were calculated. But the developer said transferring energy costs from the TVA to this nuclear plant will be a huge cost-saving win for both customers and companies. The proposal could lower the cost of power for business customers, making Memphis a more attractive business location. Now this afternoon, a TVA spokesperson said while it's too early to comment or speculate on this proposal, the spokesperson said MLGW is the company's largest customer and that he values that relationship. Reporting live in Raleigh, Brand Broders, Local 24 News.